It's the same distance away from this side and this side. Okay. And the circumcenter is the same distance away from all three vertices. That's right. So, actually, so, these are the same. All right, those are the same. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. All right, those are the same. <coughs> Mark them. So. Okay, those are the same. Because it's on the angle bus. Yeah. So. So at this point, the angle bisector is the same distance away from the sides and from the vertices. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Do you remember what you're trying to prove? We need to prove that this triangle is isosceles. Okay. So we need to prove that those two sides are equal. All right. Well, any two sides are equal, but those two sides look like a good candidate because you found the perpendiculars are the same, are equal. Yeah. Okay. So, where should we go from there? So if we could figure out anything about these angles. Well, actually, those angles have to be the same. Because... We have this right triangle, we have two right triangles. We have this one okay. and this one. And they both have a right angle and this angle in them. Hmm. Got to be careful. The angle bisector that makes the perpendicular, sorry, the, the, the um, perpendicular. perpendicular bisector is not the same as the angle bisector there. So this... There's actually four triangles here. You've just, the way we've drawn the picture, the angle, the perpendicular bisector and angle bisector are very close to each other. So, that doesn't work. Okay. Well. What else can we say that might help? So, well, what about these triangles made by the angle bisector? Okay, what about those triangles? So, they have this right angle down here. Okay. And they have this angle in them. Okay. So, which means they're, they're congruent because we have side angle angle. Ah, they're congruent. Okay. So, I'll just call this angle two. All right. Interesting. So you found two congruent right triangles. How does that help? Well, it means that this is equal to this. Okay. 